All right, that's gonna have to work. Okay, don't mind my shadow. I decided to record this when it was already dark outside. So um, this year I participated in Inktober 2019 and I um, actually finished this year. So I wanted to show you and me in case I lose these drawings or, you know, whatever happens, um, I can still have them. As with pretty much all videos that I have and will ever post on this, it's for me. So day one was ring, and I didn't actually test to see how these would look. You know what? I'll just stand. That way my shadow's not in the way. So day one was ring, so I drew a person, the squiggly lines, to be like, Oh my gosh, she's so annoyed by the noise of a bell ringing reflected in her eye. Day two was mindless. Um, you know, what you call it? Customer service. Always happy to help. When I, my very short experience with customer service that I had was not a very happy one. Um, nor did I feel at all like I was really thinking. It was just very stressful. So that one came really easy. Now, I believe day three, so, okay, I had the idea that I was going to plan all of these out and have them done, like, so early, that way I would just release them the day of, but I'd already be finished with everything. That didn't work very well at all. Uh, and it pretty much stopped after this one. Day three was bait. And it started out with a really simple idea of a person hanging from a hook above a shark, shark infested waters, but then it became a ballerina with a flower head on a tightrope over shark infested waters that kind of looked like wood with uh, knives hanging from the top. And I thought that looked really cool. I especially like her uh, little, you know, sheer uh, tutu. It was, I thought it was a really cute idea. After this, I started just doing them pretty much just the day of, whenever I had the chance. Sometimes it worked out really well. Most of the time it did not. Um, but this one I was really proud of. It was really cute and really simple. Build. So we have some, you know, little fluffy creatures, little dust sprite type creatures out here doing some hard work. Building some wall? Building? I don't know. They were just really cute. The next one was Freeze. I kept it simple. We have a nice icy looking dude. Uh, nice comfy with some kind of ice maybe <laughs> in the background. My best guess at what uh, a uh, snowboard would look like in someone's hand. Turned out all right. The next one is probably my least favorite. It's Husky. Um, I had thrown out some ideas of what I, what I think would be an interesting idea other than just doing a dog. Um, but I also saw a lot of other people using these kinds of ideas. So I didn't want to do that. And instead I ended up just giving up and doing a dog. So we've got the outline of a husky. And surprisingly, a lot of people liked this one. I personally didn't, but a lot of people really liked this. I don't know why, if they just thought it was really cute or had some sort of symbolism to them. I don't know. And I can't wrap my head around it, but I guess that's art. The next one was Enchanted, and I really liked this one. Uh, it's a sort of some kind of fey, fey creature out in the woods um, who possibly has some kind of ability to grow mushrooms or, you know, some sort of magical decay ability, which I think was kind of a really cool idea. And I'd honestly like to turn this into something 
bigger, something more detailed. I think it would be really cute. After that, we have Swing. I kept this one simple because I didn't have a lot of time. I had just recently finished the Adventure Zone Amnesty's final uh, episode where a lot of stuff happens. And, you know, if you haven't listened to it, maybe you should. This is a sword that kind of doubles as a whip in a way. Um, his name is Beacon, and he is the weapon of one of our three main protagonists of the story. It's a really cool, interesting story. So you should check it out. I actually have another Taz one in here somewhere. Uh, the next day's was Frail, where um, I kind of drew just like a little doll person, maybe, with some X'd out areas and uh, they're dirty, falling apart a little bit. They're frail. I kind of got the idea of doing this and this and this, not just because, like, that's something that you would do if you're patching up uh, a doll, but it's the kind of stuff that I would do to my dolls and stuffed animals and stuff, even without them being messed up. I would just kind of do that because I thought it looked cool. <laughs> the day after was pattern, and I didn't want to do just a regular pattern, so I drew a serial killer, which one of my friends kind of gave me the idea, where, you know, they're, they have a pattern of crime. So big news, serial killer strikes again while well, he's drinking a maybe coffee or tea and wiped off his hands a little bit, but he's still got some blood. I thought that's a really good one. I also have been getting into um, Doctor Who again recently. So on the day of snow, I thought about how all of the all of the um, Christmas episodes, they usually end with a snow day or, you know, snow in the end, but it never is real snow, so it's the Doctor. What a detailed Doctor that is. The Doctor and the TARDIS out in the middle of a snowstorm. I don't know why he's materialized there, but he has. Maybe he's watching someone. I also have been getting into, well, I've been into for a while, but um, I was re-listening to Let's Make a Music, which is a funny podcast where they make random songs every every week. Um, one of them is called Dragging Me to This Wedding. So here are some of the three key players in that song. Uh, Kyle the Dragon and Isaac and Nera, two sons of some crop... Uh, not chiefs. They're the sons of the chiefs, but... Um, yeah, they're getting married, and Isaac's trying to crash their wedding. Or not Isaac, Kyle. It's a little late. I can't think. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that one turned out kind of cute. Uh, Ashes was the next one. It's actually a pretty cool composition, I feel like. Um, we have an Alice in Wonderland type character with a mask because I didn't feel like drawing a face. And floating or falling with ashes falling around them. The next one is Overgrown. We have the best boy and owner reassuring that they are a good, good boy. Um, I just liked the idea of a giant slime taking over or like absorbing a whole building. So... Yeah. And this one is the other, the Adventure Zone one. It's for Legend, and I took, um, oh, it's a little big for the screen, but the bottom I put the quote, hear that, babe? We're legends. Um, where these two liches are talking. And, yeah, the, we have the two liches, we have a void fish in the background, if you haven't watched The Adventure Zone, or I mean listened to The Adventure Zone, you really should. It's really, really good. And they're on 
they're, they just started a new one, Taz Graduation. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the amazing characters and stuff that they make from that. This next one is Wild. Do I have a... Okay, I'll we'll just use this. Um, it'll get things a little closer to the screen because the rest of these are really small. Wild. I was wa I haven't watched in a while, but I was really into The Secret of Kells for a little while, and the main title screen has the one of the characters in this sort of behind this this like wild grass and bushes and stuff just peeking through. So I kind of stole that idea, and I thought it was really interesting. I'm not as good. Um at defining the foliage as they were, but I thought it was really cute. Next up we had ornament, and I was really trying hard to avoid Christmas. So what is a um, headstone, if not an ornament, to remember a person? And, you know, sometimes I get a little bitter, so it's gone and always forgotten. <laughs> it's a little sad, I guess, but I liked that one. Um, the next one was Misfits. I didn't put a whole lot of thought into this one, so I was just like, oh, I guess everyone's kind of a misfit, so I drew, uh, some really quick heads that are me and my sort of immediate group of friends. Because you could say that we're all kind of misfits. After that was Sling, and... I immediately thought of, like, David and Goliath type stuff, and he used his slingshot to bring down Goliath. And then I kind of took towards Greek mythology. Um, so I have, a, I have a satyr with a sling over his shoulder. I don't know where he's going, but he's on his way somewhere. Gonna bring someone down, maybe. Maybe he is the next David. Um, it's been a really long time since I've drawn a satyr, and it's been a really long time since I've ever, since I've really, like, looked at how does a satyr work? So that one took a while of how do legs, how does a goat leg, uh, happen? Next we have Tread, um, and I just drew a little, little maybe tiefling demon guy. Uh, making his way down the path, and there's a little small creature behind him, treading along, stealing everything that falls out of his bags. I thought that one's really cute, and it's so tiny. Like, wow. Next one was Ghost, and I wasn't really sure what to do for this one, and then I thought about my brother, my brother and me, where they have like these on running, these ongoing jokes about ghosts, uh, about a lot of things, but one of the things is ghosts. And they they had a whole conversation about what would happen. Like, could a ghost eat another ghost and what would happen? And the idea was that like ghosts get denser and more delectable if another ghost, like if a ghost eats a ghost. So we have a little ghost eating a liller ghost. And there's a little flower in the background. And it's titled Ghost Squared. And that one was just a cute, simple little one. The next one I totally forgot to do until I um, was at work. Luckily, that day was pretty light on running around so I was able to sit down and had to borrow a piece of paper and pen from uh someone who was also there and it was ancient so I drew a little mummy I don't know why he's confused I also don't know why he's so like squat with such long arms but he's very confused maybe he's looking for the pyramid and you know maybe he doesn't know which pyramid he belongs to you gotta wonder. For having no sketch at all, that one came out better than I thought it might. The next one was Dizzy. 
And so I drew someone falling into a spiral. Tried my hand at some overalls with not the worst results. And some little star eyes, because who doesn't love star eyes? After that, we have probably the smallest drawing that I made. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I lost two of them are out of order. So this is one of the three smallest drawings that I made. Uh, and it's tasty. And it's just a tongue biting down, or a mouth biting down on its tongue. It's actually my mouth and my tongue. Um... So yeah, that one was a really, really quick one. Had to get it out of the way, but tasty. Let's get through these other ones because I can't remember what, well, let's see. I think, I think it goes this way. Okay, so the next one, what I'm gonna say is the next one is coat. So I have a little, little lady in a little, well, not so little, in a giant coat, because who doesn't love an oversized coat? It's real cute. And then we have dark, and I took the idea from my own thoughts of I've always been afraid of the dark and what might be in the dark. Um, I will literally turn off the lights in the kitchen and then run as fast as I can up the stairs just to get to the light because as much as my mind knows that there's nothing there, there might be something there. So it's terrifying. The next one was Ride, which was really simple, not my favorite, and really uh, short, really quickly done. Ooh, but it's cute, yeah. Piggyback Rides. That one I actually forgot to do, so I had to do this in conjunction with this next one, which is Injured. So we have a swooning lady with with uh, vampire bites, possibly, or snake bites, who knows. But swooning in agony, possibly. They are injured. Second to last, uh, we have Catch. And I knew I wanted to do, like a fairy house with a trap over it, and then it turned into some kind of post-apocalyptic person, possibly uh, capturing a fairy with a fairy house and a really cheap cage. Um, yeah. It was... I actually really like the background on this one. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's so chaotic that it really catches my attention. And last but not least is Ripe, where I took directly from Harry Potter. We have someone doing some gardening. It's very calm. It was a very calm way to end Inktober. So, also, look at that. Look at that sweater. That turned out really nice. I'm proud of myself. So that was Inktober 2019. We'll see if I do next year's. If I do, maybe I'll post it again in a video and I can compare what my uh, skill level has become or maybe my styles will have changed. Who knows? But until I post again, bye.